Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Brickmeister Zine, and LEGO Ideas just announced the second 2023 review. This round has 49 different products to qualify, and the results will come sometime in early 2024, also known as Winter 2024. So for this video, we're going to take a look at which products that I think will become official LEGO sets, and which ones will not and we hope to see new products available by 2025. First up, we have two different train projects, including Big Boy Locomotive and Flying Scotsman. And of course, LEGO won't pick any of these because we're waiting for the Orient Express to come out in November of this year. But I think if one idea's train set gets retired, LEGO will have to approve a different one eventually like maybe the Polar Express, for example. Next, we have different city buildings, including Retro Arcade, Stud Lane Book Nook, and a greenhouse, as well as the Rose Apothecary from Skits Creek that looks way too big, and New York Corner, which is a modular. Well, LEGO never does any city projects for ideas, so I don't think they will accept those. For the Spartan Helmet, this design looks like the official helmet sets that LEGO made for Star Wars, Marvel, and DC. But this will also not get picked. Then we have different car projects, including Gaioletta Spider and two Red Bull race cars. But LEGO will not approve these because of their official car sub-theme. And yeah, from cars to trains to buildings, Pretty sure all of those go in the line of the LEGO Icons theme. Next up, we have the Muppets Theater. This first version was made by Bulldozer, who made Sesame Street. And here's another version made by Lee Forty. However, LEGO did make a Muppets minifigure series last year in 2022. And yeah, I remember how LEGO tried to make minifigures for Mario, and then the Muppet series ended up being a false rumor. Besides Mario, LEGO hasn't made an official set based on the Muppet Cedar. The closest concept I've seen is that if you take the minifigures from the CMF series, you put them on the stage from a LEGO Friends set. So I'll give this set a maybe, and we'll have to wait and see what happens. Next we have Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. I would say this will not happen, because LEGO did make a Scooby-Doo theme in the past, and the guidelines for ideas said that they can't bring back old themes that they've already done. For Western River Steamboat, this design is almost similar to Steamboat Willie that we got a couple of years ago. You know, a different ideas boat set for Disney. Plus, there is a different one in the Jaws set, which will come out next year. But, I don't know if LEGO will consider this boat set to be made or not. For Asterix and Oplex, I know there were a few projects based on this that were denied. Even though I don't know nothing about it, this seems to be some type of European theme. But, I don't know if that's popular enough. As for Shrek, I did started watching that DreamWorks series rather recently. The build of this swamp looks cool, but there are another two Shrek projects that are still in review right now. I think Acid Flash's version has a better shot of getting picked. For Venice, this is actually an iconic place located in Italy, but LEGO did make a Venice set in the past from their architecture theme, and this design is a bit too similar to the Venetian Houses set as part of Bricklink, so probably not going to be made. And for Stilt House, this kind of goes in the line of the old fishing store and the lighthouse, plus the ocean house, which is another Brooklyn set. But I can't see LEGO making this one either. Like, if you look at the guidelines once again, they said that if some projects that are similar to previously approved sets, they will likely get rejected. Next is the Trojan Horse. This is a wooden horse that was used by the Greeks during the Trojan War. But with the Titanic set on the market, I wonder if this set will get made as part of a LEGO history line. Then we have Red Dwarf. 
and it's like Asterix and Oplex. I've never heard of any random licenses that interest me. I'm more like a fan of other licenses that does interest me. So, I don't know if that British TV show is popular enough. For Tailspin, I know this is a type of Disney TV show, but this design kind of looks like some pirate sets that LEGO officially made. So, I wouldn't hold my breath for this one. Next, we have a gumball machine. How this works is that if you rotate the coin mechanism, one of the balls will land near the door cover. And after when you take one out, you can open it up in half. And we have some pieces to customize your own minifigures. And this does remind me of collecting different minifigure series inside blind bags slash boxes. But overall, I would love to see this set get made. And that will look great next to other buildable objects like the globe. As for you guy O, oh, this build is based on a Japanese trading card game, like, say, Pokemon. I know LEGO hasn't made sets based on different card games, so maybe, I guess. Next, we have two sets based on a Disney TV show, Phoenix and Ferb, including this big build of Do Fiends Smurf Evil Ink. I hope I said that right. And here's a smaller build of Perry the Platypus. So, probably wait until LEGO makes official Disney Channel sets, especially how they've already made other sets based on Disney Junior TV shows. But, who knows? Up next is five Taylor Swift projects in this round, including four different versions of the Lover House, and one other project, Era's Tour. However, LEGO already made music group sets based on the Beatles and BTS. So, probably wait until LEGO approves another music group set eventually, like how they'll do that with trains. Next up, we have the Motograph. This build uses a slotted frame to slide across in order to create an animation. Plus, you can separate the frame and customize your own animation screens. I do love this project overall, and I think that will kind of look good next to some LEGO art sets but I do hope that gets made. Next, we have Jumanji. The build features some jungle exterior parts on the front of the game board, and you can reveal the game when you open it up. LEGO hasn't made an official game board set before, so we'll have to wait and see if this set gets made. Next up, we have two space sets in this round, including Kerbal Space Program and NASA Space Launch System. Well, first off, LEGO did make a couple of space sets for ideas, so might as well put all of those space sets into an official NASA sub-theme, I guess. Next is the Very Hungry Caterpillar, and this is based on the classic children's book. For the build of this project, we have different fruits that the caterpillar can eat, and I love how you can move its body around. But overall, this is actually a cute project, and I hope that gets made, especially bringing back childhood memories. <laughs> then we have a working bicycle. And of course, we did already got smaller versions of this for minifigures, but this bike is actually playable with different mechanisms, like how you rotate the pedals to make the wheels move. The closest bicycle sets that we got was from the LEGO Technic theme, so I'm curious to see how this will get chosen. For the landscape photographer, we have a build for a car in this nature display. Which, yeah, I doubt that will happen because of LEGO's official car sub-theme, like I said before. Next, we have a toaster! The build of this has some mechanisms that you place some bread in, and they will pop out after when they're toasted. Even though I like having toast for breakfast every day, I would love to see this set get made, and you will definitely display this in your kitchen. Next is Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. This is based on the beloved children's TV show that first aired back in 1968. This diorama build has Fred Rogers' house on one side, and we flip it around, we have the neighborhood of make-believe on the other side. 
I didn't grow up watching Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, but I did enjoy that Tom Hanks movie from 2018. I would like to see this set get made, and that will look perfect next to Sesame Street, which is another children's TV show. Then we have Mary Poppins. Straight out of the classic Disney movie, the Billford Cherry Tree Lane looks fantastic. This project has three different houses, which are facades, and you can flip them around to see the inside. There's even a small park across the street where you recreate your favorite scenes. Even though we got a couple of Disney projects for ideas, I'm very curious to see how this one will do. Next, we have the Krusty Krab from Spongebob. And this is not the project's first time hitting 10,000 supporters. We did see previous versions of this set made by X Sandbox and Lenko. But unfortunately, they got denied because LEGO doesn't want to bring back old themes as idea sets. I wasn't a huge Spongebob watcher, but I did like watching the movies like Sponge on the Run. Even though I did miss out on the old sets back in the day. And they're very expensive nowadays after when they were retired. As much as I want LEGO Spongebob to return, I don't think that's happening <sighs> through ideas. But I think the only way that LEGO could bring back the Spongebob theme is to remake the older sets on their own. Like what happened with Indiana Jones and Lord of the Rings. For Snowy Morning in the Countryside, this is a mix between the A-Frame Cabin and a Winter Village set. So, <clears throat> I don't think LEGO can do this one. Next up, we have Marine Life. This project includes three case displays for different sea creatures, including a seahorse, a jellyfish, and a clownfish. And this same project got rejected one time, and it came back for a target fan vote. But then the Viking Village was chosen, and that new set was just revealed a couple of days ago. Besides that, LEGO did make animal sets for ideas like the birds and insects. Maybe this set will get made, but we'll see what happens. Next we have a chameleon. And speaking of animals, LEGO just released the insect set. So I wouldn't see this one get picked. As for train bookends, this is another project that got rejected once before, like the marine life. Even though LEGO Ideas did make a book set back in the day, and we're still waiting for the Orient Express to come out very soon. So I doubt this one will happen. Then we have Pixar Luxo Jr. Based on Disney's Pixar movies, this project includes the Luxo Jr. lamp, as well as a cool Pixar ball. In fact, these first appeared in Pixar's first movie Toy Story from 1995. But with the Up House set on the market, I would love to see this get chosen, especially displaying it on any desk while you work. Next is the Great Ball Contraption Showcase. We did remember seeing these type of machines at different conventions, but I do like how the balls move around to different sections as LEGO themes. Even though we got the maze set back in the day, I would love to see this get made. This is so original, and LEGO will definitely make this as a set. And finally, we have Chess Master. What's cool about this set is that you can open up the box, and inside, you can change the size of different chess boards. However, LEGO did make a chess set as a LEGO Store exclusive set. So I wonder how this one will get selected. But that is all the projects for this round. This took me like two to three days to film this entire video. But anyways, the projects I want to see get made would be the Motograph, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, the Pixar set, and the Great Ball Contraption Showcase. And while we're waiting on this round, we still have the first 2023 review results, which will be announced very soon. And that's it for the video. Let me know which projects you want to see as official LEGO sets. And like I said, we won't find out the second 2023 LEGO review results to be announced early next year. Please subscribe to Brickmeister Z if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.